Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome back to the Beginner's Guide for Spaceborne 2. Ships. Ships, 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 and all kinds of ships. That's what we're working on this time. So, if you follow my advice from the first video, you've got, oh, four or five million now. What you want to do is you want to go to the main point in any of the systems, right? Any of these here. That is, uh, it doesn't matter, but that's where you're going to find the most stations and outposts so you can look for things. And this one doesn't show it. This one does. Most will have trade hubs and faction hangers. You need your faction hangers so you can upgrade your ship, which is the second part of what we're going to be doing. But before you do that, and now that you're sitting on the dock, you're in the right spot, you want to go into your services. And depending on if you're going to sell the ship or use it again, you can take these out if you want. You want to go through... and unequip everything. So everything is empty. Then you want to go to your bank and put everything in your bank. Now this is all stuff that I have been getting while I was running um, attacking, which is what we did in the last video, attacking the villages, raiding them. What that does then is that when we're ready to buy our ship and upgrade our said ship, we have those things with us. We don't have to, you know, jump from ship to ship to ship to ship. But I found a station. Now, the other good thing about, and the reason why you want to do the um, main system hub, is all stations have their ships randomly generated so you never know what's going to be where so it's up to you but i found that having all those things i f i hit all of them if i hit like two in that system and they're not there i jump to another system i can usually find the ship i want which is what we did here this is the bad boy that we want wow and now it is a million less than the last time i looked at it okay so, what are you looking for when it comes to a ship? Well, what kind of class? Do you want a trade ship? If you want a, one of those, you need to go to a trade hub center or the faction hangers. Mining ship, you got to go to the miners guild. We making a fighter ship. Tier. Now, there's four tiers total. You want to upgrade your tiers first before you ever do anything about raising the level of your ship because it might actually bring some of your stats down until you can get things high enough again. It's just better to get all four tiers than level your ship by how much ever you may have. Next big one is captive, right? So I'll show you guys in this video how to capture a pilot after we've blown up a ship and you want to get as many of those as you can because as you start getting up into the levels 40 and 50 and so on those captives start being a half a million million five so it takes a bit but it's definitely worth it next weapon slots so depending on your style whether you like to use lasers or you don't a lot of ships have a lot of different slots that you can use. Personally, I've already tested this ship thoroughly, and of all the combat ships, this one, for me, uh, speed, everything I wanted to do, does a fantastic job. So the two slots, and you guys will see, we'll go do a mission. We're going to go to the Freelancers Guild, and I'll show you guys that here after we get done upgrading our ship. But that's the big thing, right? So those slots. Then we've got perks. So we got our cloak, multi-missile lock on a target, 
and cargo keeper i don't care about cargo keeper when i upgrade the ship that's the one i'll swap out and i'll probably do the stabilizer one that stabilizes all of the captives when they're floating in space so it makes it much easier to get them as you can see she's got all kinds of good stuff on her here we're gonna buy her now some of the other ships as you can see here we got four weapon slots six weapon slots thing to keep in mind when it comes to weapon slots the more t um weapon slots you put in that are the same kind you get a diminishing effect and i'll show you guys that here in a sec this one's only got two but again ooh, combat drones drone booster all kinds of various things Ooh, that one. So as you finish taking off, usually when you take on the last member of a pirate crew that might be in a special ship, they're always asking for help and that'll stop that. I wonder if that would work while taking over systems too. Hmm, something to keep in mind. There's just different ones. Boost, uh, defensive boost, no overheating weapons, surrounding pods. Always like that engine burst one. That's a great get out of free, get out of jail. Then the big boys got distortion charge. Ooh, EMP. Ooh. Cluster. Missile clusters. Oh, okay. So after you've bought your ship, come on over here to the ship manager. Go into tr items. Now, I am currently, uh, my pilot is currently only level four. Which is fine. But we're just going to move all of these over. So, I, in other words, I can't use all of these. That's fine. We can pick stuff up as we go. And then call ship. And there's the beast of the ship. Now, from here, we are going to go to the faction hangar. In a sec, after we put in what everything that we have here to put into it. Let's see. So, you want to buy these. Buy, spend as much money as you want on them. If you want to use the... Personally, I think the signal thing right now still needs a lot of refinement. I think it's way too time consuming as well as a few other things so i might not cover those till much later in the series as things go but let's see got to get out of my level five there we go level four See the difference in shields. Full. Woo. All right. And let's see. That's a level four, so that's my power. Yeah, 104. Let's see, the weapon system, I think that one would be... Yeah, I'm for weapons. Oh, yeah, that's what I have is much better.
Now you can put these in if you want. But we're just going to go right over. Actually, you know what? Let's put the rockets in. I like these guys. No reason. I just do. Okay. And what you saw there on the right side, right here, was me adjusting engines, weapons, and shields. How much energy is put into them. Normally, I just let my shields get beat down and my hull get beat down. I keep as much power in sh as in uh, weapons as possible because that does make a massive difference in uh, how much you kick out per second. Damage wise, and then I like to move maneuverability I get from the engines. So I can scoot if I need to. Okay, so there we go. Faction hangar. So hold on a second. Alright. The giant donuts of doom. Not all systems, but most systems have these. As you get later and later in the game, they get them. We don't, though, which I thought was interesting. We get a capital station. We don't get one of these. Although we can take over an area that has one. Landing gear deployed. All right. So for all of you that are watching this for trade ships... We got components. And here we go. We got our little hauler. Keep in mind, currently I am only level four in my piloting skill. That's why these are so cheap. They're also all tier two. That makes them a little more expensive. Why is that here? And now, look at the cross of it now! Oh, engine burst, signal dis... You know, it's probably that's what was changing the price. And we can't sell Orithra, but we can sell this ugly SOB. See, it's only 4.7 what it started with. So. Not even worth it, but let's go upgrade our ship. Real easy to do. Whoa. So, this is a ship upgrade console. Let's add some tiers. You see all these jump. All right, now it's at 8.1. I think I can put A level into it. Oh, no. Two. Yep. That's it. So now it's a 9.3. Now, over here, as we were going through, you would have saw these grayed out and then no longer grayed out. Because that means... Let's see. Down here, this one is where an additional system can go in. One of the additional modules. So any of these up here, any of the yellow ones. And then down here are Oh wow, that squad increased the offensive and defensive. Wow. I'm gonna buy that. Ooh. Let's see about changing out. Oh, it did. Where did? There it is. It's gone. Ooh. That 
that cloaking, right? Oh, cargo keeper. That's right. I don't want that. So now we have squad boost. So increase the offensive, defensive, all ships. Oh, that is so nice. Okay. So, whoop. There we go. Now to what do we want to do? So by clicking on these, those have now been removed. I'm going to put all Gatling guns in mine. And from what I've found with the, why I like the Gatling guns is they've got a solid output of damage and they don't overheat as fast as everything else. Heeper shot 1.6, right? Heat point shot. Oh, no. That is weird. Oh, that's good. Oh, 16.5 for the shotgun. Yeah, I thought the burst was crazy. Oh, it's the fire rate. Maybe that's... But those overheat so fast. So I don't use them. And then when you buy a flagship, which is that monster one we were looking at, you can put your flagship weapons in there. And as you're going through, anytime you want to see what is uh, what you have in ship, you just hit your S key, and that will tell us. So I know that I don't need that. I don't need these guys because he's only 189. Don't need the hole. Don't need the weapon systems. I know I don't need the engine burner. What about the aim? Nope. And the shield knight. Two. Nope. Don't need that either. Those are the only two that we need. Come over here to our components. Now, when it comes to components, same kind of thing. All we need now at this point to really get our ship rocking is repair kits. And by hitting the double pluses, you get as many as they have on a hand. Shield boosters. I always go tier four just because it's it's not worth it otherwise. Now, I would take these and put them in your bank. And then pod catchers. Want those. And that is pretty much everything we need for our ship. But now, we need to paint our ship. So, we've got different skins. We've got a blue skin. Green skin. I don't know. That's, that's not much there. Now, the problem with the harmonic covers and stuff is I like making black and and other colors right like red and black orange and black and I can't get the black to work on it but it's all good anyway so now we need to go back to the ship Now, the easiest way to go about this. First, go to your bank. Anything that you're not going to be using, put in your bank. So now we've only got these to worry about. And I think I'm going to keep the... I'm going to go all three of these. I like to go shield booster, repair, then pod. There we go. Five of each. All right, folks. So you got your ship. It's all upgraded. Now, what do we do next? Well, we go over here to guilds and we've got 
Ooh, a bunch. So we got Freelancers Guild, Mercenaries Guild, Bounty Hunter. These guys are kind of the same kind of thing. Miners Guild, obviously for miners. Explorer Guild, that's where you're using uh, probes and things like that all the time. But for right now, for your ship, right now you want to go and this is the one you want to go after, the Freelancers Guild. Because as you rank up, this one gives you incredible weapons. I've got tier 5, and this is the only way I've seen to get tier 5. You just got to crank through these to get them. Not that hard. So we need to go to Marma. There we go, right there. So hold on a second. And we'll go check out the Freelancers Guild. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thrust of the Alright, so you're gonna to want to go here to the Freelancers Guild. Every one of the factions. It says the closest to wherever you are the system is on that thing. This is what it'll look like. And it'll say Miners Guild, Freelancers Guild, whichever. And most of them have you, well, the Miners Guild doesn't, but the other ones have you go do a mission form first uh, as an initiation. The Freelancers does. But they tend to be pretty easy, and if they get too rough, I've found that if you just keep doing missions over and over and over, you, you kind of just pass it, which is kind of weird. But you don't actually have to fight the the, the dude, because I, I'm into incredible weapons, and I stopped fighting them a while ago, but... Okay. Landing gear deployed. All right, so here we go. That one's always closed. Administration. Registration. Doing this. You have to do first. Welcome to Freelancers Guild. Want to join? Sure. Qualifying duty like I was telling you guys about. There we go. Freelancer's task. That I got on a planet and I didn't want it. Alright. So now tell us where to go. But before you do that, never hurt since we're here. And it'll take a bit to get up there, but we've got turrets, components, and then these are all just weapons, and we've got epic and legendary. So it goes up to tiers five, or no, four. And then five, which is legendary. Let's see. I was looking for... Offensive holder, if it's got one. Oh, it does. Doesn't matter what it is. Something to put in the ship. That way we have everything. And that is just a flat from the ship I had before. That's just a flat bonus on top of everything. And then when I start paying for to swap out modules, there's um, one you can get that steadies. And I'll show you guys the podcatcher and mechanic if we get any of them. But it steadies the pilot pirates you're trying to get. That's the one that I really like. Oh, wait a minute. Landing gear deployed. It didn't load my missiles for some reason. Nope, they're loaded. Oh, must just be a bug. But I didn't put that offensive pack in there. Oh, 
So considering where we started from, and we're only level four, and this thing has got all, I mean, whole bunch of high-end gear already on it. And that's just stuff I was picking up from the raids. Now we just have to go wherever it is on our map. There we go, freelancer's task. Hold on. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. All right, we reached our destination. There's going to be our target. Now, if this is too much for you and you want to go further in the story, you can always do that. This is for you early adopters out there that want to get your ship now, because like I said, as your level goes up, so does the price of the ships. Because as you get higher levels, the ships get higher levels. So, makes sense. Best to do it this way. All right. Where is he? Now you can focus in and get him this way, like that, or you can free roam. If you want to use your missiles, you have to at least hit your middle mouse button. You idiots! If you want something done right, do it yourself. Or you can just gun them down yourself and not use anything. All right, where is the dude? Really, dude? So what you saw there was X, which is... Uh, for your missile defense, your flare, basically. Target shields down. Target destroyed. There you go. Easy peasy. And we didn't get anything, but I did see someone. There we go. So you need to hold your right mouse button. And they'll start, to, and you have to get them stabilized. So you got to keep your cursor on it till it stabilizes or he gets too far away pod stabilized then you got to keep your thing on it and hit the corresponding key, which would be eight. Now, normally, when you kill stuff, you'd hit your H key, go up here, and hit this crate thing, and whatever loot is in the area will come up here. Not this time. And once he comes back, He's worth about 30 grand for us. So anytime we hit an outpost or a station, anywhere it says security, we can turn him in and make a lot of money. Yeah, it's not showing my uh, missiles. Oh, well. So where do you find more missions? Right here. So we got guard fa factory, uh, destroy the gang squad. Now, currently, Oh, look at that. We're already level five. We were four. Means we need to go back to a station and put our upgrades in. But, since we're level five, that means we want to be looking for stuff that is level four or lower. Because the way the game scales, you start doing stuff above your pay. It might work now that we're, we're low enough and I'm starting the leveling process low enough. But in general, 
the difficulty spike is pretty heavy against you so it's up to you what you want to do and if you go to different systems every time you go into a system you can bring this up and you'll have different ones which is what i'm going to do because none of these out I, I don't i don't like guarding missions and then the combat missions are all triple stars which is the hardest one for level seven this would be the hardest one for level five. This usually means with the little alien head there that you've got a ship. Maybe it's a ship. You got, um, you might have a large cruiser or a commander ship to destroy. They're not capital ships. They're like one step down. It's like the ones we saw at the beginning of the video with the regular ships. But that is everything you should pretty much need to know with your first ship. So I am going to push further into the story and see what comes up next that I think that you guys will need help with. As always, smash that like button. Let me know you guys are enjoying this. And keep your heads down. Your Warriors of Doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.